I'm here with the man of many different words, the giver of gifts, St. Nicholas, Santa Claus himself. How you doing, Santa Claus? Oh, I'm doing great, Logan. It's wonderful to talk to you. All right, so how has COVID-19 impacted your workshop? Well, you know, just like every business, uh, our production's really slow to a crawl, but you know, for different reasons. Actually, most companies are, you know, they're having to cut back on their employees being at work and stuff. We have a different sort of problem. Our production problems are caused because there's a massive spike in kids that are on the naughty list. Disc, disc, disc. Being cooped up with their siblings seems to make kids kind of crazy. And it seems kids around the world are just having trouble being nice to one another. Okay, uh, next question. How has, how do the elves work from home? Oh, what a great question. Well, in their pajamas, of course. <laughs> no, I kid, certainly. We Zoom, we FaceTime, we Skype, and we meet. But I have to be careful. My elves are so mischievous. They like to throw in inappropriate pics of maybe me at the beach, et cetera, as their background just to be funny. Um, have any of your elves contacted COVID-19 yet? Oh, wow, that would be tragic. No, for us up here, not yet. We're pretty naturally quarantined being so far up north, but we haven't had our first case. We thought we did. Uh, we thought one of our elves had it. We had He had a terrible cough and was having trouble breathing. We called the doctor. But when he started sneezing candy canes, we realized he just breathed in too much peppermint dust. That was a close call. Uh, how does Mrs. Claus feel about the social distancing? Well, naturally, she thinks that any measure people can take to ensure the safety of society and the brave doctors and nurses around the world is a good thing. But, Logan, I feel like this is a loaded question. If you're asking if Mrs. Claus can resist my bowl full of jelly belly and my white as snow beard, well, no. She still chases me down for regular smooches. Uh, what do you guys do up in the North Pole for fun? Well, we have endless snowball fights, sleigh races, poker night with Rudolph and the boys. Now, the elves, they're a little different. Their idea of fun is loading up the sleigh in the middle of the night, coming into my room and yelling, Santa, it's Christmas and you're running late. I throw on my robe, I run out the door, and then I hear the little boogers in the bushes laughing. Oh, man, I get so steamed. It's, uh, it's unfortunate for those kids, that I, those elves that I catch doing that, though, because they end up for weeks on reindeer mucking duty. And you think Hercules had a hard time cleaning the stables. You ought to see the messes the reindeer make. Have you and any of your elves helped fill COVID-19 orders with yourselves or other companies? Oh, well, we haven't been working with many companies just yet. We have talked to a couple of ventilator companies and we are trying to yeah. trying our hand at making those. Um, we certainly have been sewing a heck of a lot of masks for people. And in fact, Mrs. Claus, she put together the most beautiful summertime sleigh you've ever seen. Yeah, she's my mechanic. Anyway, she built this beautiful sleigh and this summertime sleek red leather outfit that I'm going to be wearing in the coming weeks as I fly around the world delivering masks and ventilators to all the needy hospitals. So is there anything you should do right now to try and stay on the nice list? Like washing your hands, standing six feet apart, that kind of stuff? Well, certainly we want to observe the, the social distancing and we've got to wash our hands a lot. I think that's a general rule for everybody. You should always wash your hands. But as far as staying off the naughty list right now, just be nice to one another. 
you know, everybody's cooped up. We're feeling it up here because we can't communicate and go down and visit our friends. I like to go to Boca this time of year and spend a little time on the beach. But we've all got to do our part and try to be nice to our family members and do whatever we can to uh, to make this this transition back into the real life, back, back into the, the uh, non-social distancing existence, to make that smooth, and then to avoid the conflicts that are arising in our homes. Well, that's it for our interview with Santa. See you later. Here from WACC-TV, this has been Logan.